If you were to take somebody of my skin color and stick my hand in my bosom, pull it out, and it's still white, that's not really going to be anything miraculous. But now if you were to take a person of black skin and put their hand in their bosom, pull it out, and it's white, that would be pretty miraculous. Another example is of Miriam. In Numbers chapter 12 and verse 10, it says God turned her into a leper and she was white as snow. So if he turned her white, then she obviously had to be black to begin with. In Amos 9 and verse 7, God is speaking to the children of Israel and he says, Are you not as the Ethiopians unto me? Now some versions are going to say Cushite. Which, if you don't look that up, it's not really going to mean much to you. But if you look up the word Cushite, it's going to say Ethiopian. Now, we all know Ethiopians are very, very dark-skinned people. And God was comparing His people, the children of Israel, to them. A couple of other scriptures are Lamentations 5 and verse 10 and Job 30:30. 30, 30. Those also refer to the skin color of the Israelites as being black. Now, I have to tell you this. Um, if you have a new King James Version, it's going to take the word black out. You need to go into an older King James Version, and uh, it, it will have the proper, the proper words in there. Now, you have to ask yourself, first of all, why do we need a new version of the Bible? What was wrong with the old one? And second of all, why would they take the word black out? What are they trying to hide? Now, in Revelation chapter 1, verses 13 through 15, is a description of Christ. And it brings out that he had hair white like wool. Now, I want to show you a picture. I mean, I'm pretty sure everybody knows what wool looks like, but I just wanted you to get a, a good visual. Okay? Now there's wool. Now I'm going to show you another picture and we all know who this is. <laughs> but when you look at his hair, it's, it is exactly like the sheep's wool. Now I know it says that it was white. So I want to show you a picture of an older Hebrew Israelite. And when you look at his hair, that's exactly what it is. White like wool. Now if you look at the gentleman next to him, who is a so-called white person, he does not have woolly hair. And white people in general don't. I mean, you look at my hair, it's it's not woolly. It's it's thin and fine and straight, which is, is pretty much the norm for the so-called white people. Now also, in...